It goes all the way back down the string. 64 kilometers an hour they touch then. Mobby start moving up. They've got Chimalai. Everyone sprinting to just try and stay in the wheels at the moment. Tudor, their next rider peels off. Arvid De Klein will be led out by his uh, trusty lead-out men, Rick Ploimers, and the final man for him will be Michael Zilard. As Dagan Kolb sits up, he's just going to ride his way in. 3.3 kilometres of racing to go to decide this first stage. On the front now, taking control yet again. Q36.5 with a big turn of pace. Behind them, Total Energy with Jason Thies on their French sprinter right in on the wheels. They're looking easy at the moment before they try and fire forward. Big move left-hand side of the road. Tim Merlier will try and move up but before that is going to be his teammate trying to bring him up towards the finish it's uh, Barra van Leeuwen who uh, moves up to try and bring Molier into good position the race favourites have also got to be a little bit careful in here as well 2.4 kilometres to go big move right hand side in the red and uh, yellow coloured kit Soren Varenschgold moves up with his lead out train has to just balk a little bit just as he found that the road was going to just narrow Q36.5 have done a tremendous lead out for Moschetti there's Tudor in that black coloured kit Astana are also represented Less than two kilometres to go now, and they're just moving all over the road. Big loop round to the right-hand side. 61 kilometres an hour as they entered it. Now a big acceleration as some of the teams try and really fire out of it so they get a little bit of daylight. Uno X Mobility on the front with Soren Varenskold, maybe a little bit too early. Here comes Kasper Van Oyden's team. That's a light blue and white coloured kit, the little flecks of orange that signify Post NL as their new sponsor. Here come the team of Jaco Alula with Luca Medget bringing Dylan Groenewegen forward. Another turn for these riders. This is a tricky one at 1,100 metres to go. A little bit of a smooth turn there. One rider's got a problem as he can't get the gears to work as he goes all the way down the string. Inside the final kilometre of racing now. UAE team Emirates with Milano, they come forward. Astana move on the right-hand side of the road with Gleb Svritska. There's a number of different riders in here who really feel that they've got an opportunity. Alessandro Alexander Romola is also up there for Astana. Jaco Alula looking around for Dylan Gronewegen. Where is he? Right now, you can't quite see him. There he is. Dylan Gronewegen is there. Here comes the team of UAE with Sebastian Milano. Also up there, a big move left-hand side. Here goes Milano and UAE Team Emirates. Kasper Van Oyden is in the middle. Here comes uh, Milano, but it's Kasper Van Oyden. Kasper Van Oyden. Here comes Gronewegen on the inside. Gronewegen, did he take it on the line? Uh, 45 kilometers an hour, the average speed of the stage. But Gronewegen looked like he might have got it on the line from Kasper van Oyden. It was very, very close. We need to see the photograph. Did he get it or did he leave it too late? From the helicopter shot, Gronewegen finally got into position. Big move, right hand side. It was a big, big sprint by Kasper van Oyden. There he goes against Varenskog, but look at Gronovac and he's waiting and waiting and waiting and suddenly the road opens up, but does he get that? I don't know, I think Van Oyden probably got it. Uh, Ruslan uh, Reich, uh, 
Dusan Rajevic was also up there.